Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I wanted to do just a quick update on my April TBR. I had kind of mentioned some of the books I was planning on reading this month previously in a kind of a wrap up looking forward type thing. There have been a lot of changes to April though, and so kind of wanted to update what I've read so far, what I'm still planning on reading, the books I'll for sure be reading, and the books that are kind of if I have time. So the very first thing I immediately started in April was finishing my eARC copy of Shadow of the Gods on my Kindle. I had started that in March mostly because I couldn't resist uh, taking a, a peek at it, but I had to stop and actually finish my planned books for March. And so I, I couldn't wait any longer and jumped right in to finish it. And uh, my review will be coming out probably about a week before release day. Um, the publisher asks that the, the early reviews be no earlier than two weeks before. I figure a week's a good uh, time there. So definitely watch out for my, my spoiler-free review of Shadow of the Gods by John Quinn. Uh, man, it was a, it was a great book. Uh, and, and so I'm really excited for that review to come out. The next thing I wanted to make sure I got read, and it's a pretty short book, so it worked out, is Legend by David Gemmel with uh, Sean Connery on the cover here. Uh, this was the buddy read for my channel and Andrew's Wizardly Reads on our Wizardly Duo Discord, uh, and uh, everybody else started it before me, so I wanted to make sure I got into it pretty quick. And this book really, really surprised me. I, I'd heard good things. Uh, some other people around the Discord had read it and said it was really, really good. I was surprised at just how good this was. So also watch out for my review of Legend that will be coming soon also. So from there, I jumped into the next book that I'm reading as a part of a buddy read, and that's the buddy read with Megan's Reading Revelations uh, to do live ship traders through March, April, and May. And so Mad Ship is what I'm currently reading now. Uh, I'm like 80, 84 pages in, which looks like nothing in this book because it's a thick book. Uh, but Mad Ship's what I'm reading now. I hope to get through this pretty quickly. I actually read Ship of Magic a lot faster than I thought I would because I was kind of easily hitting 100 pages a day. But this is, I think, like 900-ish pages. Yeah, just over 900 pages. So that's still going to take a nice chunk. That's why I wanted to make sure to get to this next because this I definitely wanted to make sure that I got to. Now I mentioned uh, some some changes to the TBR. The, the big one, and I'm really sad to say, is I'm going to be dropping Child of Flame, the fourth book in Crown of Stars, off my April TBR. I really want to read this and have been trying to keep myself from jumping in, mostly because it's it's a longer book. Uh, and it's this this is one all of the Crown of Stars read a little bit longer because it's very, very dense, uh, kind of slow burn fantasy. And I've really loved this series so far. I'm trying to, the, I'm justifying it to myself because I figure if I wait uh, for the people that are also reading it on the Discord, uh, then we can read this closer to together. But uh, I'm probably going to have to read this next month because I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait any longer. I've really been looking forward to it after the fantastic end of the burning stone so that one unfortunately is dropping off uh the other two books that i had planned very specifically to read were the liar's key by mark lawrence which is the second book in red queen's war and i was planning to read the second book keeper of the keys in the cycle of fire by Janie works those are still tentatively on the list uh, neither one is going to be horribly long, and that's why they're still tentatively on there. I do want to get to those. If I have to drop one or the other, it's probably going to be Cycle of Fire, just because I read the first book in January and then got distracted by other things. But I just read uh, Prince of Fools, so Red Queen's War Story is a little fresher, so I might jump in there. Uh, those I definitely want to get to. The reason I'm not so sure is because, like I said, I'm reading Mad Ship now, and then the very next thing I read, also on the old Kindle, will be the Black Tongue Thief. Uh, and the Black Tongue Thief is another eARC copy I got from NetGalley, and so I want to make sure that I have time to read that and get a review uh, ready before uh, the release date. And... Let me look, because now I can't remember the name of the author. It's Christopher something. 
We're experiencing technical difficulties. Please hold. Uh, Christopher Buhlman. Christopher Buhlman. So uh, that was one that it sounded really interesting when I looked at, and I, I've heard some other people are, are pretty excited for it. So definitely uh, cool to do. That will be only the second one I've actually uh, read and done a review for. Uh, the very first one I didn't end up finishing, but I'm uh, pretty excited to get to that. I also do, I just remember, need to finish The Dark One uh, by Brandon Sanderson, the graphic novel. I read about half of that um, in PDF format. That was also through NetGalley because it's going to be coming out, I think, in August, so not for some time. Uh, so that's why that one, it shouldn't take long to finish. But also, I'm, I'm not really prioritizing it. And then, if I have time, and I'm really hoping I do, because this is a pretty short book uh, that should read fast, I still want to read Weavers by John Walker this month. Uh, Walker is a uh, booktuber as well uh, around the Discord, and so I'm excited to, to read that and get my thoughts out as well. But that's kind of the plan for April at this point. Got through... Uh, the, the bigger book first, A Legend was a pretty quick read, and then hoping to fit as many of the smaller books as I can at the end of the month after Black Tongue Thief, and hopefully I'll get through them because God knows why my TBR pile is uh, is <laughs> always too long and I'm always trying to stick more in there, but that's kind of how we're looking at this point. Uh, I'm hoping to, to get a little bit caught up this month and then in May... Uh, do a lot more in that, that month as well and just kind of really push through a lot of stuff I've been wanting to get to. I will make uh, a May kind of a TBR video either toward the start or a little bit deeper into May like I'm doing with this one once I kind of really know where I'm at and where I'm going to be going. So definitely watch out for that for updates. But that's the April as it looks now. Don't forget to give this video a like uh, if you enjoyed it. Make sure to comment. Let me know if you're planning on reading any of these books or if you've already read any of these books. And if you want to see the updates, including the reviews for all the books that I've mentioned, make sure to subscribe.